The prospects for rebuilding new nuclear reactors in Japan have dimmed since the accident last March at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Even so, the Japanese government is sticking to its policy of trying to win orders from emerging economies where demand for electricity is surging. In the Middle East, Kingdom of Jordan, some people have high expectations for Japanese nuclear technology, but others are voicing concerns. NHK World's Kohei Tsuji reports from Amman. Even though it is surrounded by Iraq, Saudi Arabia and other oil producing countries, Jordan has no oil reserves of its own. The country relies on imports for most of its energy. Jordan has long harbored ambitions of owning nuclear reactors as a means of boosting power self-sufficiency. The plan gained momentum with the discovery there four years ago of huge deposits of uranium, which can be used to make nuclear fuel. The yellowish layer contains uranium ore. Firms from many countries are offering to help Jordan achieve its nuclear dreams. Among them, Japan has received praise from Jordan for its technology. I won't say there has been uh, more or less a shake in uh, confidence in, the, in our confidence or distrust in the Japanese technology. We know, on the contrary, that we will learn from the best lessons. Meanwhile, concerns have begun to spread among residents near the planned construction site in Mafrak, in the north of the country. In June last year, about 500 people took part in a rally against the nuclear plant. Some even confronted diplomats from Japanese embassy who were surveying the site. We asked one of the rally organizers, Muhammad Kawalda, to show us the site. Kawalda says he is worried there won't be enough water to cool the reactors because the location is so far inland. He says safety cannot be guaranteed, as proven by the fact that a serious accident like the one in Fukushima could happen in an industrialized nation like Japan. Even Japan, with such high standards of technology, is suffering from the nuclear accident. An accident in Jordan, a country without technology, would do irreparable damage. Japan's nuclear policies are being questioned in the wake of the crisis in Fukushima. The accident has heightened the debate in Jordan too. Over the feasibility of nuclear power and of building a plant with the help of Japan. Kohei Tsuji, NHK World, Amman. NHK World's Susumu Kojima joins us now in the studio. So Susumu, the March 11th disaster caused massive problems in Japan related to the nuclear industry. Yet, Japan's government's policy of exporting nuclear technology seems unchanged. Mm -hmm. Is this a reflection of uh, economic opportunities? Well, nuclear power is a billion dollar industry and it's growing. The International Atomic Energy Agency last September estimated the number of nuclear reactors in the world could increase by up to 350 by 2030. Nuclear power capacity could double and most of the demand would be from emerging economies. The United States, France, Russia and South Korea, all countries with nuclear technologies are eager to export their reactors. Japan is no exception. Even after what happened at Fukushima Daiichi, the government still sees the export of nuclear reactors as part of its economic growth strategy. Because only a limited number of countries have the ability to build nuclear plants, nations like Vietnam and Turkey are interested in Japanese technology. One Japanese nuclear association says the world will continue to rely on nuclear en energy so it's Japan's responsibility to contribute to improving nuclear safety. Countries which are planning to build nuclear power plants have high expectations for our technologies. We need to meet those expectations because Japan is considered to be one of the leaders in the field of nuclear energy.
Mm. How does the Japanese public feel about the uh, continued export of nuclear technology? Well, what's clear is that public support for nuclear power has waned. An NHK poll last August showed 43% of Japanese people want fewer nuclear power plants in the country. 33% said Japan should abandon nuclear power altogether. The Japanese government has already said it will reduce its dependency on nuclear energy. But NGOs criticize reducing nuclear power at home while exporting it overseas as a double standard. They also say it's irresponsible because we still do not know the main reason for the nuclear accident. Many people in Fukushima are still suffering from how to deal with radiation and they are very concerned about what will happen to their health in the future. It is disgraceful to export the cause of the tragedy under such circumstances. Prime Minister Yoshiko Noda said Japan has a duty to share the lessons from the accident. If the government wants to export nuclear reactors, they need to keep their promises and show how they are going to guarantee their safety. All right, NHK World, Susumu Kojima reporting for us tonight. Susumu, thank you. Appreciate thank you. it.